Hello! Hi! Today we're going to learn about plants. Plants. So we're going to sign the word plant. Plant. Maybe you can try that with me. Plant. Plant. That's great. Now, when we think about plants, can you think of any different parts of a plant? Hmm. Those are some great ideas. So, there are different words that we think of when we think of plants. There is a flower. There are leaves a stem, roots, some even have fruit on them. There are lots of different words that we can think of when we think of plants. There are also lots and lots of different kinds of plants. Let's take a look at the plant life cycle. All right, the plant life cycle. It starts off as a plant. Then it makes a seed. The seed falls into the dirt where it germinates and then it starts to grow and grow. It becomes a sprout. Then it grows a little more and becomes a seedling. And then the seedling continues to grow until it becomes a new plant. Now let's head on over and do some plant counting. Wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in, ready to learn. Let's begin. Let's count the flowers that are here. There are so many flowers. Hmm, I wonder, can you predict how many flowers there are? Making a prediction or predicting means that you're going to try and make a guess about how many flowers that we're going to count. So can you predict or make a guess for how many flowers that are here? That's a great prediction. All right, let's do some counting. Let's start over here. We have one flower, two flowers, three flowers, Four flowers, five flowers. But there's another row. Let's keep going. So many flowers. Six flowers, seven flowers, eight flowers, nine flowers. What comes next? Flowers. Good job! We just counted to ten. There are ten flowers. Alright, let's 
look at the different parts of a flower or a plant, different parts of a plant. Well, this plant has a flower on it. There is a stem. On the stem, there is a leaf. And at the very bottom, the part that grows under the dirt where we can't see, there are roots. And the roots help the plant get water and other nutrients so that it can grow. Wow, I love plants. Now that we've learned about plants, Let's head on over to the art studio to create a plant drawing. Let's draw a flower. A flower. Let's spell the word flower. First we have a letter F. Then a lowercase letter L. F -l ow ow. O W make an ow sound. F L ow, and then the er er. I hear an er sound at the end. E R make an er sound. F L ow er. F L ow er. Flower. Good job. Let's draw a flower. Let's begin with a nice big circle. We will draw a curving line at the top for the first petal. Let's draw a curving line at the bottom for a second petal. And we'll draw a petal on each side with a nice big curving line. Let's draw a line in the center of each petal. Let's draw a line in the center of the face. And connect it with a letter U shape. From one side down to the bottom, draw a curvy line. Color in the dark of the mouth leaving that tongue white. On either side, draw a circle for the eyes. In each circle, draw a smaller circle and color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just the smaller circle white. color in our flower using our favorite choice colors.
just like that, your flower is done. Hello! Welcome to Craft Corner. We're going to make a flower mask. Let's grab our art making mediums. So we're going to need a yellow piece of paper for the center of the flower. We're also going to need some petal colors. Petal colors. We're also going to need some scissors and glue. All right, let's grab a wax crayon to draw with. Let's draw curving lines around our petal color. Okay, curving lines around our petal color. And on the yellow piece of paper, where we're going to draw a circle. A circle. Just like that. All right, let's cut out our petal color and our circle. One hand to cut, one hand to hold. lots of extra paper here so I'm not going to recycle it. I'm going to keep it for another craft in the future. So I'm going to put it in here and save it for later. It's still good to use. Now I'm going to cut out my petal shape for my flower. Now it's nice and wide because I want it to hide my face.
And just like that, your flower mask is done. Hi, my friend. Thank you so much for learning with me today. I am so glad that you joined me. You made my heart full. I hope to see you in our next learning adventure together. Parents and teachers, for more art ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com or for teachers, you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below and in the description of the video. See you next time.